according to Investopedia, one of the factors that causes property value appreciation and general economic growth in a society is road infrastructure and this is why i commit to bring you up to date with major road infrastructural development in the three major cities in nigeria talking about lagos port Harcourt, and abuja and so very recently i've had a trip to port Harcourt, and i decided to make this documentary to show you the latest road infrastructure that is available in the city of Potako. and believe you me this is one video you don't want to miss out you want to watch from the beginning to the end because it is worth it the roads in Potako are amazing you can drive within this city for one or two hours without traffic without pothole you can't wait to see what i'm about to show you but calling for you nigerians in diaspora you probably have not visited home for a long time or you've not been to Potako for a long time and you're also looking for an environment to invest in this video is for you but while you watch please don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell for free so you can always get interesting updates on this platform so that is portal court 2024 this is port harcourt the river state capital also known as the garden city of nigeria during my stay in port harcourt i visited over 15 major roads across the city this is the Aba Road that houses major infrastructures such as the Presidential Hotel, the Federal Secretariat and many others. It's on this note I welcome you again to this documentary on Port Harcourt 2024. And I'm your proud host, Bright Peter Side, your favorite real estate broker. Like you already know that we sell properties in Lagos, Abuja and Port Harcourt. Just to add that video clips of these roads, we are not short in any particular order as such. Feel free to comment any location you can identify on the comment section. Here you have the Federal Secretariat in Port Harcourt. The structures you are seeing on the left hand of your screen is the Presidential Hotel, one of the most popular prominent hotel in the city. So I'm heading to the Rumola flyover, one of the oldest flyover in the city, built originally in the 1980s but was later uh, expanded by the Nyesowike uh, led administration. Beautiful city with street lightning. Now like I mentioned before, Potakot is an important city, not only for River State, but also for the entire Niger Delta region. So we are still on the Aba Road. Perhaps after watching this video, you will understand why the city is known as the Garden City. You will recall that according to the National Bureau of Statistics, Lagos, Rivers and F City dominated the internally generated revenue of Nigeria in the year 2022 with Port Harcourt, River State at large coming up with 172 billion naira making it second highest revenue generating state in Nigeria after Lagos this is the Transamadi road where we have the popular Transamadi industrial layout which houses lots of companies, both local and international. Beautiful environment to live in. And outside Lagos, this is another major city where you can invest in real estate and have the best of your investment. If you are just joining us, don't forget you are watching Port Harcourt in 2024 beautiful landscaping you have here here is another road within the city that takes you to the bridge and here you have the potato zoo and then there is a bridge that takes you downward to woji ll1 downward to akpajo in LMA, a neighboring local government area that shares boundary with Portaco City. Here you have another set of beautiful roads within the New Jaroe area of Portaco. In here you have popular destinations like the 
Headquarters of Salvation Ministries, Market Square, Hotel Presidential, a lot of hotels, nightclubs, and what have you. Just to mention that this city, like other parts of River State, is well blessed with natural resources, hence its dominance in oil and gas industry, which is the mainstay of the economy of Port Harcourt and indeed River State at large. So this is the GRF Street Tombia Extension Road that takes us to Equerry Road. This is Equerry Road axis of Port Harcourt. And very close to it is the Ajib flyover that takes you downward to UST where you have the River State University. And then under the bridge takes you downward to Abacha Road, Ajib Junction, which then connects you to Ada George Road, another major road in the city of Port Harcourt. So this is Ajib Junction. You can see the Kilimanjaro E3 and this is the Ajib Road and here we have the Ajib by Ada George section of the Ada George Road another major road here in Port Harcourt so this very road takes you to the Ajib Gate which houses the Ajib Company it also leads you to the Federal Housing Estate here in Ajib and through here, you can also access the Ego Island, Dubu area of Port Harcourt, and which will be joining the Port Harcourt Ring Road project. Now we are back to the other George Road, and this is the Rume Precon flyover. Now there are three major roads in Port Harcourt the Aba Road, the other George Road, and the Query Roads. And hopefully, on completion of the Portacol Ring Road project, which is ongoing, it will be a major road that will further open up this city for economic activities and indeed economic prosperity of this oil-rich Niger Delta City. This is the location bridge which connects you to NTA by Mboba and the other side takes you downward to the Rumokuta bridge which also connects you to Rumibo, Rumokuta and Rumola by Ikwere Road. Founded in 1912, Portaco City is one of the oldest cities in the southern part of Nigeria. It currently has a population of over 3 million people making it one of the most populated cities in Nigeria aside Lagos, Kano and Ibado. The most rewarding type of real estate investment in Port Harcourt is rent as people are always in need of accommodation within the city. As such, investors can own properties which they can put out to enjoy rental income through annual rent or short let also booming in this city now if you are visiting my channel for the first time you are welcome if you are returning as a subscriber i'm excited to always have you on this platform please do well to take out time to like this video comment now subscribe and turn on the notification bell for free so you can always get interesting updates on this platform this is the rumola road Mola Junction. You can see the everyday supermarket, one of the major landmarks within the Rumola axis. Now, if you are coming into the city of Port Harcourt, from this point you can get to any parts of the city. This is the Aba Road, a major road in the city of Port Harcourt. Now, a first timer watching this will probably be wondering why this place is called Aba Road. Well, that is because from here you can travel to Aba in Abia State, the same way you have Lagos Ebado Expressway. And so, like I said before, there are three major cities in Nigeria, Lagos, Port Harcourt, and Abuja. And I can tell you that if you are looking for one city to invest in the year 2024, this is shop right in Port Harcourt. 
this is one city you can invest in real estate and you can have the best of your investment here we have the air force junction axis of port Harcourt. That bridge within the city is a long one. This is the Air Force base axis of the Portacot Abarresway. Here you can see on the right hand of your screen, this is the Air Force base here in very close to it is the Portacourt Pleasure Park. Here is another road. Lots of bridges and green areas within this city. This is the Portacourt Pleasure Park on the right hand of your screen. Now within the Abarot Expressway in Portacourt, there are overseas bridges. These include the Rumola Bridge, the GROA Bridge, the Waterlines Bridge, the Garrison Bridge, the Maiwan Bridge. You can get down to the government house axis of Portaco, then downward to Portaco Township. This is the Waterline axis of Portaco. It is very common and popular for travelers. Here you have uh, the Aru TC Park. Now, for anyone traveling out of Port Harcourt, Waterline is a popular area. From here, you can travel to any part of Nigeria. Outside the Waterline Parks, other popular parks within the city include the Rumokoro Park, the Rumola Park, the Maiwan Park, and many more. And then here is the Ulua Basinjo axis of Port Harcourt. You can see how neat and beautiful the road is looking. This is the Bank Avenue part of Olua Basinjo. Now this very road also takes you to my three axes of Port Harcourt, connecting you to the Ikoku flyover. You can see the police command here in Olua Basinjo. From here you can also access the D-line axis of Port Harcourt from where you can link to Garrison and my one park. park. Down to Azikiwe Road, where we have the government house, Lagos bus stop, and Potako Township. Zero portal and smooth drive, no traffic congestion at all. The Waterline bus stop is one of the busiest areas of Potako. Coming back to New GROA here in Port Harcourt, this is the Hyper City, one of the newest popular malls in the city of Port Harcourt. And then on the left hand of your screen is the very popular Port Harcourt Polo Club. This is one of the locations for the elites in Port Harcourt second only to OGRA, Peter Odile Road, Ada George Road, the sheer residential area among others. Properties here are very expensive. Here you have the headquarters of Salvation Ministries, right here at Birabi Street, New GROA, Port Harcourt. Beautiful, beautiful road networks within this city. And so again, looking for a place to 
invest in real estate in 2024 outside Lagos, Port Harcourt comes highly recommended. And the reasons are not far fetched. Property value appreciation in this environment is very high, owing to huge demand because the city also boasts of huge population from neighboring states of South, South, Southeast, and indeed from other parts of the country. Being one of the major cities in Nigeria, outside Lagos and Abuja. Here is another road within the city. Lots of roads have been constructed by both the Amishi and Wiki led administration. Here we have the east west road axis of Port Harcourt. From here, you can connect to the University of Port Harcourt, other parts of Port Harcourt, other local government areas in River State and the Niger Delta region at large. Smooth drive all through. Well, I'm pretty sure you've enjoyed what you've seen so far in this video. Now, don't forget again to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and like I mentioned earlier, please do where to comment any area that you've seen in this video that is familiar to you using the comment section. Please subscribe, turn on the notification bell for free so you can always get interesting updates on this platform. And now before you go, I would please love to hear from you. What do you make of the environment you have seen so far? Do you think this is one location you can invest in? And if you've never visited Port Harcourt before or you've been away from this city for a long time, was this video helpful? Please share your view on the comment section. And now if you would like to invest in real estate in this city, Please reach out to me through the number that I shown on your screen and with that, I can help you get best deals that can give you the highest return on investment in this city. If you are yet to subscribe to our channel, please do wait to like this video, comment, subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell for free so you can always get interesting updates on this platform. Please do wait to also share this video, someone out there depend on you for this information. Again, my name is Brad Peter Side. Thank you for watching and bye for now.